The most famous heroes and villains depicted in Marvel Comics became so popular that the Avengers franchise has beaten all possible box office records and conquered millions of hearts all over the world. Our favorite actors had to spend hours applying their makeup to change beyond recognition, and, turn into amazing movie characters. Talos, Ben Mendelsohn. Australian actor Paul Benjamin Mendelsohn played Talos, the commander of an alien race in Captain Marvel. He had to wear an uncomfortable silicone prosthesis on his head, fake ears, and unusual contact lenses to become a 100% alien creature. Corvus Glaive, Michael James Shaw Michael James Shaw, an actor and writer, took part in two of the Avengers movies and played Corvus Glaive, a member of the Black Order, and Thanos supporter. Computer technology experts worked on creating this character. Vision, Paul Bettany This actor appeared in the Avengers even before he played the robot Vision. He voiced the artificial intelligence Jarvis in Tony Stark's mansion in the first films about Iron Man. Vision's makeup consisting of a red mask and several silicone prosthesis took more than three hours to apply. Video effect experts also worked on Vision's look. Ultron, James Spader. The main villain in Avengers, Age of Ultron was played by James Spader. The character was created using computer-generated visual effects, but Spader, as well as many other Marvel actors, was involved in recording Ultron's movements and facial expressions. Korg, Taika, Waititi. This actor, screenwriter, and comedian from New Zealand was both a director and a person who played, the gladiator Korg, in Thor, Ragnarok. He also played the third, right head of the alien, Sir Tor, and even replaced Hulk in several scenes. All these characters were created with the help of computer technologies. Yandu Udanta, Michael Rooker. Michael Rooker became famous, thanks to his roles in, The Walking Dead, Merle Dixon, and, Guardians of the Galaxy, Yandu. To transform into a member of Zatoan tribe, from the planet Centauri 4, the actor had to apply six layers of makeup, wear uncomfortable fake teeth, and put in red contact lenses. Taserface, Chris Sullivan. American actor and musician Chris Sullivan played cyborg Taserface in Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2. To turn into his character, Chris had to wear purple makeup, fake silver teeth, and bright contact lenses. Aisha, Elizabeth Debicki. Australian actress Elizabeth Debicki portrays Aisha, the Golden High Priestess, of the Sovereign in, Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2. She had to sit for hours, while makeup artists covered her body with golden paint. Her contact lenses were also golden. Mantis, Palm Clementif. This French actress first appeared in Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2. She played Mantis, an insect-like creature. She had to wear black contact lenses, and small prosthesis that were turned into antennae, with the help of computer technologies. Drax the Destroyer, Dave Bautista. This actor, who used to be a wrestler, a bodybuilder, and an MMA fighter, played an intergalactic criminal in Guardians of the Galaxy. Dave's body was covered with airbrush paint, and then silicone red scars were glued on top of that. The whole transformation procedure took several hours. Gamora, Zoe Saldana. In Avatar, Zoe Saldana used to turn into her character with the help of computer technologies. But in Guardians of the Galaxy, professional makeup artists worked on her appearance. Each day, they spent around five hours creating the incredible image of, Thanos' daughter. Johann Schmidt, Red Skull. Hugo Weaving, Ross Marquand. Yes, Agent Smith from The Matrix played Red Skull in Captain America, The First Avenger, but in other films, Avengers, Infinity War and Avengers, Endgame, the character was played by Ross Marquand. The transformation to a monster without a nose, took the actors more than three hours. Martin X, Michael Rosenbaum. The Smallville star played one of the Ravagers in the Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2. His character was created with the help of computer technologies, that allowed the crew to maintain the actor's facial expressions. Ronan the Accuser, Lee Pace. We can hardly recognize Lee Pace when he's dressed up as Ronan from Guardians of the Galaxy. 
The blue face, the purple contact lenses, and the black hood completely changed the actor's look. Thanos, Josh Brolin. Initially, Thanos was played by stuntman, Damien Poitier, and appeared in The Avengers in 2012, but in the last four movies, Josh Brolin, took on the role of the main Marvel villain. To make Thanos look realistic, a complicated computer technology that creates fictional characters, based on the appearance of the actors was used. Nebula, Karen Gillan. Nebula was played by Karen Gillan, an actress from Scotland. To become Thanos' daughter, she had to say goodbye to her long hair, and her makeup was one of the most difficult. It took the crew around 4 hours to apply her makeup and 30 minutes to remove it. Who's your favorite superhero actor? Please share in comments below. And don't forget to, like, share, and subscribe.